putting on his his makeup right now. And it is stuck, and I do not want to hurt this little guy. All right, are you ready for this? Yes. I am so excited to see this movie. Good morning, everybody. So I'm trying to get ready for work, and I was putting on my makeup, and Aspen decided he had to, too. What do you have in your hand? Let me see. What is that? Cream blender. Is that your beauty blender? So I was using my beauty blender, and <laughs> Aspen really wanted one. So I have some of these that I use to put on a highlight with, and I gave him one. Yeah, he's he's putting on his his makeup right now. How's it coming? Are you doing it now? Yeah. Mom, you're going to get me Play-Doh. I am going to pick up some Play-Doh for the schoolroom today. Yeah, now. Now, after I'm done with work, I'll bring it home. Here we go. No, we're all done with this one. we got to use blush now. Proud of. You dropped your beauty blender. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What are we wearing now? Some blush. Yeah, can I have blush on this? Alright, so I am on my way into Dubuque for another day of work. See how today goes. I did find out yesterday from working an evening shift. It's not something that I'm going to do again. Um, it was very, very slow. And on a weekend, I would have expected it to be a lot, a lot busier. Um, I found that really after about 7, 7.30, driving just kind of dies down within the city. There. So now I know it's been a good... Uh, couple of weeks of experimenting with what times I should be working, what works best for the city. And I mean, I've really figured out on the average about 7.30 is the cutoff time. So it gives me a little more info of when I should and shouldn't be working. Anyway, I'm headed in for another day and it is cloudy out and not rainy now, but it was earlier. The pavement's really wet. So we'll see how the weather goes today and maybe a rainy day is good. Maybe I'll have more business traffic that way. All right, so today I am still recuperating from the concert, as you can see. Um, now I'm taking Skylar to work, and Aspen has been crazy playing while we're watching TV. So I gotta clean that up when I get back, boy, grab, some, grab some food for the kids for the night, and Christy is off doing her thing, so I'm gonna go see what happens. I think Aspen and Tim. Well, I just dropped Skylar off at work, and you know, he's, we've raised a really good man with Skyler. And the reason I say that is because there's so many times that people call in sick to work and Skyler goes in and he does the work and it's not the greatest job. He, he you know, it's not the, his dream job by any means, but it's his job. And he goes in and he does the work and he, he fills in for people and you know sometimes as a young man I mean he's not even 20 years old it can be very frustrating you know but he he does it and today again you know this like two or three days in a row that he's working somebody else's shift because it's just the way it works but I'm, I'm very proud of him at any means so I came home from taking sky to work and I was gonna take a bath and stuff 
And oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my head. But I, the kids started yelling. Chandler was watching the kids because there's a hummingbird in our in our porch and it can't get out. And I don't want to hurt it. As you can see, and it is stuck, and I do not want to hurt this little guy. So, I'm going to try to do something to get him out of our porch. So, apparently, he loves the garden Christy made, and then now he wants to come in and join the family. So, I did not know, but hummingbirds tweet. They make like this nifty little, sounds like a baby, actually. It's like, whoop, whoop. Yeah, it does. I don't know if you can catch it doing it. But I cannot catch him, so I'm hoping he can get himself out. Yeah. Oh, there he went. I don't know if you heard that. So this is the first time I've had a chance to check in. Let's see. I have been in town, I think, for five hours. And it has been, for the most part, nonstop back-to-back-to-back-to-back rides. So I think I'm the only driver on again today. So... Anyway, I am going to get back to work, but first I'm grabbing something to eat because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything since this morning, and I think Matt just texted me and told me that there's a hummingbird in our house. So I'm hoping he's vlogging it so you guys can see what's going on. It took about 45 minutes to get the hummingbird out, um, and I actually didn't do it. Uh, I ended up taking my bath and shaving and stuff like that for the day and Tierlin finally got it out. I couldn't get it out. I spent at least a half an hour doing it. But now I find out that apparently we have to come outside and look at something else. So let's see what it is. So in the midst of trying to get little Mr. Hummingbird out, we found this stuck on the edge of the porch. I'm not really sure what it is. And it looks like moth. it got caught in a spider web and it is a was a big lunar moth. So check that out. So I'll pull it down. Check that out, guys. That is one big moth. He unfortunately didn't survive. But he's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. I am at the grocery store and I'm going to go in and see if I can get some chicken for dinner. Um, I don't feel like cooking tonight. I'm still wore out from, from the trip. It was a lot of driving and just kind of wore me out a little bit but I'm gonna go in and see if I can get some chicken because I have like um, it's called champs chicken I don't know if you got that by you but it's like a roasted chicken and they have it in the deli here at the at the grocery store but church did just let out just right by our house and a lot of people come here to get this chicken so so I went and got the, the chicken and uh, I got 20 pieces of chicken for like $20 so basically they charge like a dollar a piece of chicken but then I wanted some sides, and all they had was uh, the potato wedges, like the roasted potato wedges, and the kids really like them. And I asked her, I said, well, how much are these? And they're $1.49 a piece. One potato wedge is more expensive than one piece of chicken. So I'm like, man, that'd be a lot, you know, to get enough potato wedges because they love them. So instead, I went into the actual grocery store, and I picked up a couple of like let's see if I can find them they are potatoes and macaroni and they come like this and you can just throw them in the microwave and the kids really love them so and it was a heck of a lot cheaper right, to guys do that. so I am headed home I am tired I didn't think that driving would make me tired but it really does like my right leg is saying okay it's time to get out of the car but it was a really good day it was so busy it was so busy you guys and I met all kinds of people today and it was so cool because I met somebody from I met two gentlemen today that were here working on the other day in the vlog I showed you like those windmill things being transported that's what they're here putting up and they were from Poland 
one was from Poland and one was from Romania. So that was really cool. And they were talking about language and the differences in language. And so it was really neat. There's my speed app again. My speedometer was working just fine. And then I noticed I was trying to slow down to go like 25 miles an hour. And I'm thinking, man, this is really slow. Like, I didn't feel like I was going 25 miles an hour, so I pulled the speed app up and popped it on, and I wasn't. I was doing like 15 miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. So, back to the speed app again, and hopefully my speedometer will kick back in and we can find out exactly what's going on with it, because it's driving me crazy. It was working great for like three days, and then it's back out again. Anyway, I'm headed home because T and I were gonna go see Annabelle the other night, and then it just got too late. There weren't any showings we could make it to. And she really, really wants to see it. So, and I've seen, is there two movies with Annabelle in it? But I've seen like The Conjuring and all of those with her. So I'm kind of curious as to how Annabelle creation is. So I think that's where we're headed out to tonight. Ready for this? Yes. I'm so excited to see this movie. 